Saint Mark the Apostle was an evangelist and preacher in our land of Egypt. He not only preached in Egypt, but also in Libya, Greece, and Rome. He was only a young man at the time of the crucifixion of our Lord, perhaps about 19 years old. Saint Mark was an educated apostle. He could speak the Hebrew, Greek, and Latin languages, and he wrote the first gospel ever written when he was in his 40s, and also established the first theological school in Alexandria. At the time, it was named the Catechetical School of Alexandria, and it introduced the world to many great scholars, such as Athenagoras, Clement of Alexandria, Origen, and Didymus the Blind. When St. Mark came to Egypt, he faced many difficulties. From a religious point of view, he found many Egyptians followed the Pharaonic gods. And after Alexander the Great invaded Egypt, many Greek gods were also worshipped. St. Mark had no church, no money, no facilities, and no congregation. But in spite of all of this, in time, all of the people of Egypt became Christian. As St. Mark's responsibility grew, he ordained Ananias as a general bishop to help him. Ananias later became his successor, the first patriarch and bishop of Alexandria after St. Mark. St. Mark received his martyrdom through the persecution of the pagan Romans in the year 68 AD. The English word copt is from the new Latin word coptus, which is derived from the Arabic kebti. This word is in turn derived from the Greek word ahiguptios, which means Egyptian, from aiguptos, or Egypt. The legacy that St. Mark left in Egypt was a considerable Christian community in Alexandria. Christianity began to spread to the rural areas, and scriptures were translated into the local language. By the beginning of the third century AD, Christians constituted the majority of Egypt's population, and the Church of Alexandria was recognized as one of Christendom's apostolic sees. Many Egyptian Christians went to the desert during the third century and remained there to pray and work and dedicate their lives to seclusion and worship of God. This was the beginning of the monastic movement, which was organized by Anthony the Great, St. Paul, the world's first anchorite, St. Macarius the Great, and St. Pachomius, the Cenobite, in the fourth century. Pachomius spent most of his time at his Paubau monastery. From his initial monastery, demand quickly grew. And by the time of his death in 345, one count estimates there were 3,000 monasteries dotting Egypt from north to south. Within a generation after his death, this number grew to 7,000, and then moved out of Egypt into Palestine and the Judea Desert, Syria, North Africa, and eventually Western Europe. Today, only about 15% of Egyptians belong to the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. There are about 18 million Coptic Orthodox Christians in the world. Between 10 and 14 million of them are found in Egypt under the jurisdiction of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. There are also significant numbers in the diaspora in countries such as the United States of America, Canada, Australia, France, Germany, and Sudan. A 2010 New Year's Eve attack by Islamic fundamentalists on the Coptic Orthodox Church in the city of Alexandria left 21 dead and many more injured. On the 30th of January, 2011, just days after the demonstrations to reform the Egyptian government, Muslims in southern Egypt broke into two homes belonging to Coptic Christians. The Muslim assailants murdered 11 people and wounded four others. On the 17th of March, 2012, the Coptic Orthodox Pope, Pope Shenouda III, 
passed away, leaving many cops mourning and worrying as tensions rise with Muslims. Pope Shenouda III constantly met with Muslim leaders in order to create peace. Many now worry of Muslims controlling Egypt, as the Muslim Brotherhood won 70% of the parliamentary elections. On the 4th of November, 2012, Bishop Tawadros was chosen as the 118th Pope in a ritual filled with prayer, chants, and incense at Abbasia Cathedral in Cairo.